All right, we're back for the second string. Our girls have switched places, and Ariana is about to throw out the first ball. And you know, as, as Abigail Adams said, folks, don't forget to remember the ladies. And right now, Callie Josefiak had a 10-pin lead on her in the first, on Ariana in the first half. And that's a difference right now, so we'll see what happens. Kylie has, has probably the record for most consecutive appearances on the show that she set a few years ago. It was some outrageous number of, like, 12 straight tryouts that she qualified for. And I think it only broke because she missed the tryout. Definitely, and she's a veteran here, but uh, as Thomas Jefferson said, a revolution every 20 years is a good thing, and we'll see if Ariana can take, take her down today. So folks at home, all 100 or 200 YouTube viewers and people all around the world, not only are you getting good quality canopin bowling from some of the top youth bowlers in the entire state, you're getting an American history lesson today from yours, Rob the Hitman Taylor. I live to teach America. Ariana. There's a nice ball, a little off to the right on the three pin. Both bowlers on the three pin, that one. Ariana's sleeve looks a little more makeable. She's got the four horsemen plus the nine pin. I think that will help or hurt her, Rob? I think it could help her. The way the pins are coming off the wall today, you never know. Just misses to the left of it. Same with Kylie. Kylie, Kylie gets, gets a pretty little good back bit of action. action. And we'll see if they can continue to pin as they have been thus far. Yeah, those oh, all-important pins, a quality 10. Those all-important pins just now stretch the lead from 3 to 6, if I'm not mistaken. I believe you're right, Sue. Six-pin lead. Still within one mark, though. One big mark for whichever one decides to do it, DiBiasio or Stella. DiBiasio's attempt now. Hopefully, these kids are really looking to string some marks together. Absolutely. We haven't seen a strike yet, although both teams have been given a few good runs. So we'll see if we can get some It's a good ball right there. Kylie gives it a chance, but... She's going to have to cut this like super bad at a Bible study shoe. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that would be cut down pretty bad. Send it over. Oh, oh, nice very try. Good. Very nice try. As you said, she didn't quite cut it thin enough. Nailed the three pins on the right. Didn't get any help from the wood. She'll be looking to shoot at the seven for ten. Ariana with a beautiful ten. And Ariana cuts a pin off the lead. Ariana cuts it down to a five pin lead now. Both girls have two more chances. Ariana's getting in a groove now. She's definitely got some good boxes going. 8, 8, 10. Hoping to keep going up. Throw a spare here. Absolutely. And in a match where marks are being hard to come by, it's those third balls that really make a big difference when it's a three-pin match and not get marks. You definitely hit the nail on the head on that one. Kylie Josefiak with a really nice first ball. That's in right. fact, they have mirror image leaves in a way. Kylie's knocked out. Eight and leaving at a two pin leave, and Ariana two pins. Tough wood for Kylie. Oh, yeah, we could see that one coming. Yeah, first. you could see it coming. On a shot like that, where would you play it, Rob? Way up on the cap? Probably have to catch the cap for that one. She gave it a good try. You never know if the ball come off the wall, but not this time. Yeah, she doesn't have an overpowering ball. I'm sure she was hoping it would uh, catch the wood, hit the wall, and come back and take the seven. We've seen that happen a lot in the semifinals here. Up to a nine pin lead now for Josefiak and Lombardo. Five here and three. For, well, I guess my math is terrible. Five here and three from the... Yeah, it doesn't make nine, does it, Rob? That would be, I believe, an eight-pin lead. <laughs> eight-pin lead. <laughs> but uh, Ariana's going to try to chip into that right now. Give Joey a big oh, mark nice ball for Ariana. She leaves a diamond plus the ten pin on the right for a cluster oh, of five. Great ball Kylie, by Kylie. Our first strike. Kylie with a hammer. That ball exploded like Bo Burnham at a Sailor Moon convention shoot. <laughs> References that our viewers will have to go to YouTube for, Rob. Just missed to the right. Great Kylie ball. takes a seat waiting. Ariana, Ariana looking for up. a nice 10. Oh, she gets a 9 out of it. Keeping the lead so far to single digits. Now, our girls are going to take a seat. Kylie does the ultimate she can do for her partner by leaving a strike for Chris Lombardo to fill. And Chris will be looking to throw a strike of his own. If he does, his team will be entered in the drawing for the bowling balls with a double strike. And I don't think we've ever seen a partners do it. I think we've seen singular Never. people do it and earn their partners a pair of bowling balls. And if he was going to do it, he was going to need a little backdoor action because he drifted off to the right and was all over the uh, six pin. Joey, however, smashed the ball and dropped a nice makeable seven. All over it. Excellent Slammed it into Joey the wall. Sella. Joey says, if we're going to make a comeback, we got to do it right now. So right. five fill for... Lombardo, and he's looking to get out to try to keep this, oh, tough five. 
Tough ball. Very tough of. to come back after sitting down and watching your partner bowl for a half. So sometimes it takes a box to get back in the groove, and I think we'll see. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Right now. But in the meantime, what we were left with is sort of a negation of the strike, making it like two ten boxes, which means that we're still looking at my terrible math, an eight pin lead being cut into with two balls. We could see a nearly even match here, Rob. Absolutely, and two very makeable spare leads. Yeah, right yeah. Now. Yeah, Joey a little with a very good fill. Off Joey the off the head pin. He's got eight so far, and he's still got another. Oh, that was his fill. So two pins. Oh, we have a one pin match. Oh, off by Joey. Chris tries to get some action off the wall there, but no can do. Crowd real disappointed at that bad luck by Joey Stella. Looked like he had the spare. Nice ten. Joey Stella seems to have found it. So we'll see if he can continue to bury the object pin here. What? Uh, do we have an even match, Rob? I think we have an I even match. We do. It's. Best three pin three lead this one for Stella and DiBiasio, and they were down three after the first. We have a dead even match with three boxes to That's go. Right, I'm on the edge of my seat. Let's see what happens. These boys have the ultimate destiny in their own hands. Joey just off the head. Oh, Lombardo, what a ball! Right in the one three pocket and tight. Leaves himself the five seven eight with an. What looks like a helpful piece of wood moving a little bit. He's waiting for. He get moved out of his way, and he didn't see it moving, unfortunately. Once again, it comes down to pinning, and he's very important. It's an third important ball. ball here for Joey Stella. Oh, he holds Joey his head. He holds his head because he knows that's costly. He's slipping through the hole. Only getting four. He's got two boxes to make up for it, though. It's still about a one mark game. Yeah, it's so. a five pins. And Joey's put two marks up so far, so we'll then see if he can do it again. Both bowlers have had that one tough box this half so far. Lombardo with the five, and he's recovered nicely and pinned well to take the lead back from Joey. Joey with his four, he's going to try to recover here. That ball seemed to slip away from yeah. Joey. Chris continues to pound the head pin. Pounding the head pin's always a good idea on the first ball. Right. Joey's having a little trouble, but I'm sure he'll find it right here. And on the bright side, his pins are all in a group. He's going to want to try to get out of this. Honestly, he needs to get out of it with a six or better. got to give himself a chance with one mark. Tough four. And um, an awesome and, 10 and, for Chris Lombardo. And you know what? You've got to give Chris Lombardo credit on that shot. That was a beautiful 10. And by doing it, it's gonna he really makes that four hurt worse because now he stretches the lead out to 11 pins. And that's, you know, when you get to 11 pins, it's so much bigger of a lead with one box to go that's than true. nine or eight. We've seen in candle pin bowling before. Anything's possible. Said by Kevin Garnett. I don't think I have to teach you folks that. So. Yeah. In fact, Joey's looking at a very makeable lead. Three pinner with the head pin up there. He's going to try to run it down. Maybe that's some helpful wood. Lombardo with a trickier lead. This could be interesting. Just oh. missed by Joey. And that's tough to do right there. And Lombardo's on the head pin on the second ball. Effectively sealing the match away. Lombardo and Josefi are going to win this one, folks. That well, was an excellent match, folks. Yeah. Tight all the way. Very through. good match. Very. You couldn't ask for a tighter match. Very consistently bold, Josefiak and Lombardo with 293 games for a 186 total. They're going to be our victors. They're going to have the number three seed in our ch championship match. And uh, close behind them, only 10 pins behind with a 176 DiBiaseo and Stella. We're going to take a quick break, come back with the 1710 jackpot shot where our contestants try to add $25 onto their gift cards. Then the final interviews. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back.